All right, guys, I'm Catfish. And I'm the Bigger Man. And we want to talk to y'all about boots today. As you can see, we got every kind of boot in the world up here. And um, as we go, went through hunting season, through hunting season, whether it be uh, rabbit season, um, deer season, or even fishing season, we go through all these different seasons. And we got, Dad and I have, have tested out a great number of boots. Um, but I'm, I'll let Dad start off and he can tell you what his favorite boot is and what he thinks about um, his boots and, and other boots. So go ahead, big man. Well, guys, what I like, special for rabbit hunting and for if, if I'm out there with catfishing and deer hunting, I like the uh, a light boot on my feet, but at the same time, it got to be a good quality. And uh, the muck boots, this right here is the muck boots. And I love these because they light. Look how, look at here. See how light they are? That's, this is what I like. And uh, guys, they put you, you can go through the water and everything with them. And your, your leg and your feet don't get wet as long as you don't, as long as you don't step in no deep water to go over top of the boot. How long you had them boots? I had these boots now going on four years. It's been four years? Yeah, it's been four years. Okay. And, and, uh, and guys, I'm, I know I'm gonna have to go get me another pair by now. But, uh, <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, the muck boots is the way to go. But Catfish got some other boots right here that's made by lacrosse. And uh, these right here, these remind me of the old boots that we used to buy years ago when I was like 14 and 15 years old, beginning <coughs> a beginner rabbit, uh, a rab, uh, beginner rabbit hunter, hunter, along with my uncles and stuff in Virginia. Hey, how, how much did boots used to cost y'all back then? And the boots, the boots back then, you could buy a pair of boots for eight dollars and some cent. And and you won't find that no more. No. no. And uh, I think highest I ever paid for boots was like sixteen dollars for for a pair of them green boots. Yeah. They yep. were green, almost similar to these, but they had the little, they had uh lace. They had lace. They had uh -huh. yellow yellow shoe string. Uh huh. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna find Dan now another pair of those because they still sell them. Yeah. Um, it, but they're hard to find, and they got that that steel shank in the bottom. Yeah, that's you know, right. Uh -huh. That's they, right. They, and you know that that boot got them thick, them thick yellow laces, but them some, them some good boots. Uh-huh. Um, those lacrosse boots right here, uh, I got from, um, from Ag Supply. I got them from Ag Supply, and they probably ran me, I, I think I paid roughly 70 or $80 for them. Now, this is a workhorse of a boot. It's, it's just an overall good boot. It's a, it's a wide boot, too. So it's a little bit floppy, and I got a 13. As y'all can see, I got a 13. But it's still a good boot. It's just a little bit floppy, but still a solid, solid boot. These um these are kind of some... Magellan? Yeah, Magellan. They kind of like some muck knockoffs. Um, but these I got from Academy Sports and Outdoors. And these boots probably ran me another, I want to say probably about 70 or $80 right here. Now, it, as you can see, still plenty of tread left on the boot. Uh, it was a, it was a, it's a tough boot, uh, but I went through a beaver. I went through a beaver pond with them rabbit hunting and, and I punctured that hole in that boot. And I tried everything in the world. So I only had the boots one year and I, I I don't punch all with them. No, I'm uh, still uh, trying to wear them, but yeah. they 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 just they they I can't count on them if I had to go, especially deer hunting, and I had to go way down in the bottom uh, on a deer on a dog drive. I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't count on these, but they lasted for right at about a year, and that that was that was about it. Yeah, uh -huh. that's about it. Um, these I see guys wearing these, but let me tell you, uh, these are Ariots and. These are good work boots if you want like a construction job or something. Man, these boots ain't worth two cents for walking around in the woods. Oh no, uh -uh. no, you. I mean, now you can get away with it. I done did it, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't recommend this. They're right not here. comfortable enough for all for day, ground, all on, day uh, hunt on the ground, going over uh, briars and, and uh, sticks in the woods. Now you can get away with it. Yeah. I did, but I, I wouldn't recommend those boots. <laughs> um, now, now what, you, what you got here? Now these are red heads here. Uh, I got these from Bass Pro Shop, probably about three years ago. About three years ago, these are still holding together. These are uh, your your red your red head boot. 
and these is what I call my upland boots. So if I know, if I know um, Dad and I are, are, are rabbit hunting in a spot where it's not a lot of water, uh, kind of almost like a spot we can go go here in the next day or two. It's not a lot of water, so you can get away with this, but you cannot get away with this if you're going swamp rabbit hunting. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and there's a lot of water. You better have some rubber boots on. Yeah. But if if I'm going if I'm going deer hunting and I'm um and I'm doing like a stop type hunting or ground blind type hunting, uh, if I'm doing a saddle, y'all y'all know I hunt from a um, trophy line tree saddle. I can use these. Um, th and these have been a very very good boot. Got them from um, Bass Pro Shop. Yeah. Fifty dollars. Yeah, and they they rugged boots too. Yeah, about fifty dollars. Yeah, about fifty dollars. I think about fifty dollars. No. Not a very expensive boot, but a right. a, a good solid boot. Good 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 boot right there. And y'all see all these collars I got up here. Uh, I just went to Hound Dog Country and picked up some dog collars. Uh, they went on ahead and put all the uh, put tape. put all the name name plates on it for me. And uh, just good 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 collar here. Didn't cost too much. Check them out there, you know, Hound, Hound Dog Country there. Uh, but I'm putting them on some of uh, our younger dogs we got. And that's where we get all our collars from. That's right. Hound Dog Country. That's right. Um, let's talk about these tinglies. Because I know Dad said he had some boots that were light. Well, <laughs> look at these guys. Hey, look hey, at these. That's, that's one light boot right there. That is one <laughs> light boot. Now, this is what I will tell you about this boot. Yes, it's light. Um... I've had sharp briars, um, thin sharp briars, sharp sticks stick, stick through this. It self heals. I will say that it does self heal. If you got an all day walk, they are very light for an all day walk. If you're walking in a swamp, they don't hold your heel. They don't hold your feet. So your feet will will kind of um, kind of come in and out of yeah. it. If you know, but if you're talking about and these are uh, like I said, tingly. Boots. I got these at Hound Dog Country. I think they were like forty four dollars, forty five dollars, something like that. Uh, but a, a boot you can wear all day long. I punctured holes in it, and they come right back together. And they and, got a pretty good instep on them too. And and let me and and they don't have a lot of tread. If y'all can see that, they it don't. They look like it got tread. Not a lot of tread, but for a real light all day boot. You can wear it cleaning dog pens. You can wear it working in the yard. You can you can wear it messing around, whatever. Very good, lightweight boot. I bet these boots don't weigh a quarter of a pound or no. something. Uh -huh. it just it just the boot is so so light. It, it just it's just not even funny how light that booty is. But again, what you give up with the light boot part of it is, um, you know, you don't have any insulation in this boot. Not only don't you have any insulation in it, you really miss out on some of the support in it. Again, not a bad boot though for $45. Yeah. All rubber, and I've had these boots two years. And you can walk in them all day too? You can walk, turkey hunting? Yeah. This this is a lightweight boot. You can get away with it. Uh, and like I said, I got these at Hound Dog Country. Um, I think, like I said, about $45. Some, some, but I've had them two years now. Very good boot. Um, uh, let's go to, let's go to the tie wig. Mm -hmm. uh, feel the difference on that one. Now, this, this is not a bad boot. It's not that heavy uh -uh. either. So that is. Now, I like that. That's kind of, again, kind of like your, your muck knockoff. Um, and, and, and no lot. Now, this boot, I've walked a lot in this boot. I've not punctured any holes in it. Um, look at the tread on it. It's got good tread on it. I've had these boots about a year, year and a half. Um, and these boots at the time, I think these boots were only about $45, $50 at the time. You can't beat that. Now, is this the, what I call, is this the best boot on the market for $45? It may be, but, um, you can get a better boot. You're going to pay the cross price for it. Um, you're going to pay muck price for it, but this boot has been held holding up we done been on dog trials with it we've been on rabbit hunts with it deer hunts with it um they do got a little of that neoprene in it so it do have a little bit of that insulation 
mm -hmm. to it to as well. Right. So you put on a you know put on one pair of wool socks, you can hunt all day in the cold. Uh, you know in January, February. This is a good boot right here, um, and I have not had any problems, had any leaks with it. And you can find this on the Tadwee website. Uh, I believe you can still get Catfish 15. You can still take 15% off with these on the Tadwee website if you can't get a little cheaper with their discount. But a good boot, guys. Just a and I'm a rabbit hunter, and I I would even recommend yeah this yeah, right here. Yeah, no, I would buy a pair of these. Yeah, not a bad boot, guys. Yeah. Not not at all. I just like the way it's built. Yep. I like the way the boot is made. Yep. And I like the weight of that boot. It's not bad at all. Uh -huh. And it still gives you that 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 snugness in the in the ankle uh area so the boot ain't just flopping yep. on, on your foot. Kinda like the um kinda like these would do. And um uh, and I don't and one thing I one thing I like about these boots that I don't like about these type of boots, they flop on you. They when you at the top of your leg, uh -huh, yeah. You know when you walk in, yeah, they, yeah. they they flop, flop, yeah, flop, uh -huh. and um, so and you can tell the size different. Look at the, uh -huh. it's not a lot of, it's another about another inch. Yeah, it's about an inch different. About another little inch different. Uh -huh. It's hard to even tell, but yeah. uh, but this right here, I, I prefer this boot right here. And I like that boot because it's not steel toe. I don't yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. the steel toe. Yeah. Uh, boot when I'm hunting. Now I tell y'all what, I had some steel toe boots from Walmart. Them boots lasted, them boots lasted years. I mean, I'm talking, I bet them boots lasted five, six years. Uh -huh. And um, they were tough as nails now, but they wore like it too. And, uh, but anyway, um, this is a Tywee boot, wonderful boot for the price, for the price. Um, I would go over some of the hunting gear. I just picked these bibs, I mean, not bibs, um, chaps. chaps. I just picked these chaps up. Um, from from Hound Out Country, I've not had a pair of chaps yet. Uh, I'm looking for something a little light. It, it's it's 75 degrees, guys. It's uh you know 65 degrees. So I wanted to try these out. I got these at Hound Out Country. You can pick them up there. Um, you know, pretty 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 simple. Got a zip on it, so I can zip over the boots and uh, and them things fit good too, bigger man. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, do. I like that. When the last time you wore a pair of chaps? Man, I haven't had no chaps in in. 40 years. Man, I'm saying, I ain't, uh -huh. and they, they, they're 28 too. So yeah. they come right down to yeah. your heel, you know, they come yeah. right to your heel. And the chaps, chaps is good when you are, uh, when the weather's a little bit warmer and you don't have to wear them, them thick hunting pants. That's right. You can wear a regular pair of blue jeans up under there. Yeah. And yeah. just put the chaps on and you're good to go. Yeah, man, I, I pulled out some of my hunting pants I had in there uh, and I'm going to wear them washed up tonight and, and uh, just, um, just, a, just a camouflage pair of jean pants you know uh -huh. not no thick now what what did these cost you uh around about about fifty dollars about fifty dollars yeah about fifty dollars you can't beat that no uh-uh uh -uh. they're about fifty dollars ain't got they good they good they good y'all i mean them things i'm expecting these things to last years 15 yeah. years and they're waterproof. Yeah. Uh -huh. they're waterproof yeah uh-huh yeah waterproof yep and um so you can still get through get down through the briars and with briar proof and, waterproof yep. yep so good 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 pair good pair of chaps here guys Good pair of cha um, chaps, and I'm a, uh, and I'll show y'all later on another two, three years how, how you know how they lasted, how did they hang? So uh, in North Carolina right now, we're getting crazy temperatures, anywhere from um, anywhere from 60 degrees all the way up to 75, 80 yeah, degrees. Yeah, that's right. And so um, you're gonna need something that's kind of light. All right, all right, right big man. All, um, right. all right, guys, I'm Catfish, and I'm the Bigger Man, and we'll see you. In the woods. We'll see you in the woods, guys. Uh, if you need any 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 of your collars, any of your hunting gear, any of your any of your hats, anything like that, y'all check out Hound Out Country uh, in Creedmoor, North Carolina. Live action. All right now. Come on. Hey, you got that Bo, Bo show hat on. There the hey Bo. All right, Bo. Hey, he love that hat. Look bro. at that hat. Like he love that. And hat, I'm keeping man. it like brand new. Yeah. Hey, look. I mean, but I've been wearing mine. it, Bo. I ain't tell mine up. Yeah, I'm keeping my Bo hat. I've been wearing it. <laughs> Bo, right. you and Zoe, thank y'all. Yep, yep. All right, guys. Um, we'll see y'all later. I just went to pick these these buck shots up. Y'all know nothing about that. Let me get off here. Buck oh, shot. Oh, that rabbit shot. And some rabbit shot. Yes, yeah, that's seven and a half. So we'll cut your rabbit up. There you go. Don't that's cut, a seven and a half. Don't cut your rabbit up with that them sixes. Right there. Them fives. All right, guys.